Firstly, uh, some quick updates. I'm friend with Rashab now, after yesterday's talk. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people came forward and met me. I actually came here to sit on a corner, watch what's happening and go back home. I really was not in the mood to network. And yesterday was my first time after many years speaking to public. Like after COVID, I have been having a bit of social anxiety. So I was like not coming and meeting people and all those things. And a person by name Hamza helped me a lot to meet people and introducing. So a quick shout out to him for that. It, it was because of him I actually gave my name for the flash talk yesterday. Yeah, uh, so quickly uh, I'll get into my slides. So I don't know if any of you have done any restaurant implementation here. Have anyone done? Okay, a few of them. So you might have a uh, request for uh, having KOT, right? A printer that you keep inside the kitchen and it has to be... Uh, you know, it should generate a different print for the kitchen. So it comes something like this. So you will have a, a bill like this and then you will have a KOT, right? Which gets printed inside uh, the kitchen from a printer like that. So um, it was for a friend of mine who had a restaurant and he wanted this. And I thought, yeah, I can just get some money out of him using Airpinax and it will be just a piece of cake. But then I... I was not realizing this is a cloud application and a printer somewhere else had to print and how you're going to integrate that and all those things. And I was in a very tough spot. It was a very small project uh, with a limited team and limited time. So we had to come up with a hack uh, because there were so many solutions that gives network printing, some subscriptions that let you, you know, get printer on the cloud and all those things. So none of that could work for us. It was a single uh, outlet. Uh, so basically, uh, just, I thought this might be an inspiration. These are some of the places that's running ERP next now. So all the four is a, uh, the top one is a ice cream chain. It's an ice cream outlet, uh, basically gelatos. And this is the one I'm talking about, the restaurant which is using KOT. The other people is using a display-based, tab-based KOT screen. So uh, it's a quick uh, explanation on how we implemented this. So we have uh, ERP Next on the cloud, and then we have a post machine in the store, and then you have two printers, right? One printer which is connected to the device, and it can print from Chrome using the usual ERP Next uh, installation. And there's another printer in the kitchen, which is connected over the network, right? Now, uh, I did some research on many post providers, and uh, what they do, they bring and keep something called a IoT box. They put another computer in the store, which acts as a server, and then everything connects to it, and it goes, so the cost again goes up, right? So that was not a solution. So we did a Qq hack. We wrote a very Qq uh, small Flask application, which exposes one API uh, on localhost port 8000. And we did a script so that it boots up, uh, it automatically runs when the uh, post machine boots. And it's connected to Wi-Fi. And then we had the KOT machine connected to the Wi-Fi router itself by cable. So basically a very basic setup. And uh, in the point of sale, we, we wrote a small uh, client script, which basically uh, on submit of the post form, collects the items in the bill, sends it to the Flask application, and then the Flask application does a very basic uh, appending of an HTML, then it converts it into a PDF and it prints the PDF, right? Uh, and we have already configured this uh, printer in uh, using the Windows printer configuration and it's available. Uh, on the system. So it was a very quick hack and it worked. Uh, it's working since uh, eight months, no issues, right? Uh, last time we had a support request, the Flask application was not running. So we just had to run it again and the problem was gone, right? Uh, and this is another screen uh, which we have implemented in uh, the ice cream counters, I said. So they have a tab in the kitchen and this is basically a, a web page using uh, uh, for a pay website module and it simply prints all the available invoices and it, we have added some fields which shows if the KOT is prepared. We have two fields to show if the preparation has started and if it has been delivered. So there's a start button. So the person in the kitchen can click on start and prepare the order and then uh, they can finish, complete it and it disappears from the screen. It's a very basic thing. It's not real time. It pulls the uh, ERP Next API every five seconds and updates it, right? So basically, you get another screen, something like this. There'll be a complete button once you click on start. 
and then uh, it's also it also gives a very good analytics on how much time on average each KOT is being taken to deliver. So you have the invoice time, then you have the complete time, both registered, and so you get another report uh, based on that. So a uh, few issues that we uh, got when we are implementing the KOT is that uh, many web browser doesn't allow you to make a call to localhost from the cloud. So you have to work around either by disabling the browser security, which is not a good thing, or else maybe add uh, your localhost uh, to uh, the host, edit it, and then add, uh, sign a local certificate on your localhost. That kind, kind of a workaround in the machine. But it's a one-time fix. Once you have done that, then it works. And then uh, right now we are doing some things, like we, we have got a bigger client which has multiple restaurants, which also takes order at the uh, table instead of billing first. So then you take a restaurant order and and you know how it happens, right? You take an order and then they come back and again ask, do you want anything to drink? So the KOT keeps coming for the same bill. So we are implementing a doc type, uh, which can have multiple updates, which can be submitted, which can be canceled within a few, few minutes. And uh, we are linking that to the uh, invoice. And we, get, we are building KOT analytics on top of that. So uh, right now, these are all hacks. Uh, we have uh, basic scripts, client scripts here, some uh, Flask application running somewhere else. So uh, we are looking for a way to bundle it all into a Frepe app so that it can be uh, distributed on the marketplace. And uh, I also recently, someone pointed me to an uh, app in the marketplace which says Restaurant Posts. Uh, so I have not seen that, I have not used that. So I will also see if we can have some integration into that. And yeah, that's all. If you have any questions, I can answer that.